So I'm going to repeat that for the recording. What we're going to do right now is we just downloaded this Summer Institute page and set it as our homepage in Canvas. Now we're like, well, I don't like that picture. I'd like to change um, the title. I want to edit it. So that's what we're going to practice now. So if you look to the upper right, there is a pencil that says edit. So it's going to completely change. There's a lot of things that we can do in here, but we're not going to cover all of them right now. We're just going to go over the basic features of what I want everyone in here to do is the same thing. I want all of you to change the photo. I want all of you to change the title. So you do that within this right here. So I can select on that photo. Um, and it's the same functions you use like in a Word document or Google Doc. You double tap. I can save image, copy image, or I can click here and press backspace, it goes away, and then Command Z will bring it right back. So all the same features. So this is what's already on there. You press the edit on the top right, and so you can see up here I can change the font, I can change where I center it, color, I can make a link. What I want you guys to do is put in a new photo, change the title, which is up here, change the font and the color of the title. So that is on your Canvas page that I had you on your iPad. It says that's what I want you to do on that. So you can compare it that way. So I'm going to show you. <laughs> you are just open. All this is what, questions. yeah, she's on it. I know. Um, this is what I want you to do, but let me show you how to do it real quick. So here's a photo. I don't want this photo. I just click on it, press delete. I want to add a new photo, embed image. It's right here, the little picture. So it's very similar to other technology where it has the mountain and the sun. So I can put in a URL, canvas, or Flickr. Um, I, that is one way to do it. I would rather just go up here to the top right and press image. And so I can search Flickr or I can upload a new image. And then you would select on choose file. And then that will give you access to your computer. So I'm going to back up. Yes. Right. So let's go back. I deleted the picture here. I want a new picture. So I go to the top right and I click on images. So I'll click back on images. And then I want to, so what you'll see is upload new image. So I'll select that. And then I want to choose file. So you might have a picture on your computer or you may not. So just find a picture. You can search Flickr also. Um, I have some pictures, let's see, right here, of my students taking data from plungers outside. So I, cho I chose the file, and then I need to go down and press, once you choose the file, you press upload. And so that will upload my picture here. And it's massive, but this is my students tracking the motion of the sun throughout the day with a plunger. <clears throat> I got lucky and got a, a day of sunlight in the middle of three weeks of no sunlight. But now I, whenever I did that, put my picture pulled over until summer is too late. If you want to make the picture smaller, you click on it and then you just drag it. Just like with the Word document, if you're using text, highlight. at the top there, you can left justify, right justify, or center. So I'm going to say it because I'm recording it right now. The question was, how do I get this picture to be in the center? You just click on the picture, it highlights it, and then just like a Word document, align center. So all these functions up here are very similar to what we're used to. 
save after that? You would save, but we want to change the title. So let's go up to the title and let's change it to match our picture. So if I want to change the title, now I'm going to say Sun Plunger Sun Data. But I also want to change the color. So I highlight it and I select red. It doesn't work with the tile. That's good to know. <sighs> so the color is right here. So I'm going to change, I'm going to type right here. I'm going to change the font to size 14. And then I'm going to say sun. Here's the color. Sun. If I could type plunger data. So the color, I can select on this, change my font, make it bigger, or I can change the color, blue, so this is what I want everyone to do is change the picture and then learn how to change the font and color size. That's it for now. Those are your basic, what you're basically gonna do in any course is just type and put some pictures or upload a file, but we'll do the uploading file in a second. Quick, quick question, when he's clicking on search clicker and then he's typing in a word, it's just giving him a bunch of words instead of pictures. Is that something with his laptop? Uh, you're gonna have to give me a second to look. 